welcome back to the channel how are you all doing i've got the biggest bags under my eyes ever <laughs> i look so puffy faced um i went to bed way too late last night uh not because i was doing anything exciting i was just trying to absorb as much information on my new camera as possible and i've just got brain overload from it it's not, it's not a bad morning out there i mean it's a bit gray but it's not raining so that's good it's not windy that's really good um it's not particularly warm though is it it's just still just feel like we could just do with some actual spring weather where we have proper sunshine we get sunshine for about 10 minutes and that's it for the rest of the day i just yeah do you know what i want to do this is going to show my age but like i want to like i was going to say wind down my windows <laughs> i know people don't wind down their windows much anymore you just press the button but wind down the windows have the music up in your car and just be driving along and feeling that sunshine and just being like yes life is good i just i'm ready for that weather i'm ready for that weather anyway i have got i've got a pretty nice day today and i'm taking some photos this morning so i'm going to do my guys first then i'm going to go off and take some photos i'm trying to see if i can get to do some other photos after that because i've got some foals to photograph again this year which will be lovely i've already seen one of them and this she's so cute so naughty but so cute uh and then i've got the vets in to vaccinate the horses so fingers crossed they're all right and then back at lunchtime because the horses are being vaccinated which I have to say, we feel a bit nervous about now. I never would have like crossed my mind vaccinating my ponies and horses when I was younger, but I feel like increasingly horses seem to be having reactions to the vaccinations. And you do worry that they're going to be poorly after them. Sometimes it takes them weeks to recover. And especially with Coop and his allergies and everything, I'm even more concerned. So hopefully everyone will be fine, fingers crossed. We don't want anyone feeling poorly, especially after Coop's sort of had some sort of virus a couple of weeks back, and that seemed to really knock him for six. I'm a bit like... Um, so hopefully everyone will be okay and then I'm teaching this afternoon so good day, nice day so I did an in hand session with Sienna this morning and I wanted her to have a decent workout because she'll have tomorrow off because of being vaccinated later this afternoon so I started off by just doing some sort of averagely raised walk poles with her I like doing this because I think it's very beneficial for her I don't think she particularly enjoys doing it because I think she finds it quite boring and to begin with she can be quite slack and she does take a few poles out just because she's not really concentrating but she does get better now you can see just back then when I froze the frame that I'm looking for her to really engage and lift her legs up as she's walking over these poles the higher she lifts her leg the longer her body is having to balance itself on the three legs and that's great for her core strength so this is a really good exercise to do in hand it's just I think she finds it quite boring so I'm constantly changing the rain i quite like trying to do some of the poles on a bit of an angle as well just to get her thinking about where she's putting her feet and things like that i like her frame she's obviously got her head and neck nice and out in front of her she's quite soft over the back then we moved on to this exercise and this is not something i've done with her for a really long time and since she had her si's medicated a couple of weeks back this has improved so much and that is on the lunge allowing her in canter to just do pole small jump pole and i like to leave her to it it's up to her to figure it out and where she's going to put her feet and she really enjoyed doing this and i was pleased with the way she jumped a couple of times she made a few mistakes and she sort of had a hop and a skip and a bounce around but it was good, good. i've just arrived to take photos i've got my christmas chile on well i mean it's not a christmas chile but you know what i mean i got it for christmas um, mainly because it's clean because i've not used it yet so um, i thought we'd look a little bit smarter though black and blue i don't think it really goes together but not that bothered anyway i'm um, off to take photos the weather's that funny weather weather it, it's not that warm but at the same time when you're mooching around you get warm really quickly so gilet it is uh what is this weather about right so it's meant to be so wet this afternoon i just checked my weather app it's meant to be wet all afternoon not best pleased about that Thank goodness I did the photos this morning because originally I was going to do that this afternoon. So uh, that was lucky because we did get that done in the dry. Mm, the photos were a bit... Mm, <laughs> I wasn't overly happy with them. I think it is going to take me some time to work out this new camera and the settings I like to produce the photos that I am looking for. But anyway, it was a good starting place. I did take a few video clips. Again, they weren't perfect by any stretch of the imagination. I'm like, oh, I've got a lot of work to do on this all, but it's a starting place anyway just waiting for vets got the horses passports here waiting for vet to come vaccinate I'm meant to be teaching this afternoon but i'm really worried that they're gonna want to cancel because they won't want to go in the rain it is a bit miserable out there i have to say um and didn't do the foals photograph 
get my words out. I, for some reason, I cannot get my words out today. Didn't get a chance to photograph the foals, so I'm now going to do that tomorrow afternoon. So keep fingers crossed that the weather improves so I can do that. It'll be another chance to have a play around with my camera and get better, hopefully. <laughs> get better. I am really fussy when it comes to photos. I'm very precise. I like them to be perfect, as you would. So it's going to take me some time. Anyway, I'm going to sweep up this yard, give it a quick tidy up before the vet gets here. Can you hear that? It's pouring down. I swing my phone around. Absolutely pouring down. I thought they were going to cancel their lesson. I'm so grateful they didn't cancel their lesson, but I thought they were going to cancel it because it's just so wet. I didn't realise it was meant to be so wet this afternoon. It's going to put the field, the, like the horses going back out in the field, back another week. It was just starting to dry up as well out there. It was just, you know, we were going in the right direction. And I think we're meant to have quite a few more hours of rain yet. So it's just going to be a soggy mess back out there. <laughs> so depressing, this weather. So depressing. I haven't got a clue what I'm teaching in this lesson either. I haven't really thought that far ahead. Look at my hair. It's because of the weather today. <laughs> It's a great look, isn't it? Absolutely great look. Um, I couldn't find the hood for this coat, so I just grabbed any hood. If needs be, I'm just going to wear the hood unattached because otherwise I'm going to get drenched. Oh, British weather, you suck. It really does. It's just rubbish. It's just rubbish. Um, my camera was still downloading the photos when I left. I think it literally is going to take hours. Uh, so I got and ordered a new SD card reader. Yeah, SD card reader, yeah. <laughs> thought it sounded like I'd said it funny. Um, so hopefully that'll come by the weekend, because otherwise it's not doing the camera any good being on for so long to download. I think there's still, like, over 100 photos to go. So, oh, fun times, fun times. But anyway, never mind. Tomorrow, when I go and see the foals, I'm not taking as many damn photos, that's for sure. Right. Wish me luck. I think it's, I feel like the whole time I'm sat here, it's getting heavier. So we ended up having such a great session in the rain and this is the exercise I put up. Now you'll see in a second but we call it the spider and for obvious reasons and you could do this with poles on the ground to begin with so you can just have all the poles reach a point in the middle and horses can trot over the centre of it and it's just great for working on their straightness they tend to lift a little bit more over it but then if you want to make it a little bit tougher like we have here you can add blocks under it and make it into a jump and this is great for practicing a horse's straightness on skinnies because you can also take the poles away like we've done here it's really good for getting a horse up in the air over their jump so it makes them quite careful quite clean over the fence it's a really really good gymnastic exercise it gets horse and rider thinking quickly i like the fact that you can kind of go across the middle in this exercise as well as going down the center line afternoon guys i'm just popping on quickly i started editing my vlog which i'm hoping will go out tonight and i realized i forgot to film one of the exercises when i was teaching this morning i just got absorbed in teaching the lesson and totally forgot so i'm gonna have to do one of my dodgy drawings and try and explain what the exercise was and how we set it out so i'm sorry about that um i'm just realizing how <laughs> how messy i look right now and um, the weather has battered me today so i'm looking like a right state and i also look like i've been crying i haven't been crying i just rubbed my eye really sore then you know when you start rubbing your eye and then i was like literally like now you're gonna look like you've been crying yeah plonker anyway the next clip is me trying to explain the exercise we did today but it was a really good fun one so I built this exercise for quite a whizzy Welsh pony and her teenage owner. So I wanted it to be something interesting and entertaining for the jockey, but also useful for the rather excitable pony. So we started off by putting a straightforward small rail up, two strides to a skinny block, which we put guide poles on the side of, and then another two strides to, again, just a single upright. And then what I did is I put a, another single upright out to the side, as you can see in the picture, so that the jockey had a choice. She could either go straight through the combination of doing upright to skinny blocks to upright, or she could do upright across the diagonal to the other upright, back in so doing like a small loop and this is really good for this pony because like I say she can get quite strong when jumping in a straight line so we could alternate it sometimes she jumped the loop sometimes she jumped straight also sometimes she started off by just doing a small circle over the jump out on the side and then going down the three it was just a really fun exercise it got the pony really listening and focusing and concentrating on the rider rather than just getting strong in the hand and sort of slightly seeing the fence and wanting to run. 